Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Hateful Boyfriend. Last time... I'm not going to talk about last time. This time, we're going to finally, 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 finally see what's what with Ryota, our childhood friend. Well, I guess that's really all there is to say, so let's do that. Thanks for raising my stats. Uh, I'm not sure what Ryota would value most. Um, maybe a bit of wisdom, because I know he has like a sick mother. Maybe if I boost my wisdom, I can say something about that. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just go for both wisdom and charisma. Right, the class hike. Um, yeah, let's finally speak to Ryota here. Ryota, let's eat together. Sure, great view, huh? Huh? Is that your lunch, Zephyr? Yep, it's calorie me. That's a pretty sad thing to bring to a picnic. No, it's not. The great man once said it's the ambrosia of the gods. Jeez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Here, I'll share mine. Really? Wow, thanks, Ryota. And so I got to eat half of Ryota's lunch. His cooking is so good. We can save the calorie me in case of a survival situation. Oh, I, I never tire of this subtle implication that I live in a feral wilderness where death is always moments away. Oh, jeez. That's right, Ryota's doing the three-legged race. That's one of the options at the school festival. Um, I'll definitely do that then. Let's skip ahead. Today's a sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Three-legged race. Oh, are you joining us? Want to run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. Get set. Go! Ryota's running for both of us. Pairing up like a bird and primate might have been a bad idea. We somehow come in second anyway, though. We have brought honor to our class. Uh, cafeteria, that's right, I remember. I was just going down Okosan's route last video, and, um, Ryota and Okosan get in a fight here. Excuse me, one half dead fried rice, please. Yum, my favorite. Coo! No, this is wrong! A fake! A vicious lie! A familiar voice indeed. Coo! This is not pudding! I know, you said. So come on, let's eat outside. You can't horse around in here. Oh, what's going on? Now that I can't tell by looking. Sam saw the put in here and went nuts. I stopped him from going on a rampage, but... Ow! Cut it out, Okasan. Coo! Release me at once! My rage voltage is rising! Uh, help me, Zephyr! Uh... Leave it to me. Leave it to me, Ryota! My hunter-gatherer blood boils! Rawr! Coo! No! The Beast Queen shows her true colors! Pull out! Pull out! Oko-san rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. Ah, safe at last. Thanks, Zephyr. No problem. All I did was shout at him anyway. Apparently that was enough. Now we can all eat lunch without fear of disaster. Uh... Right, the part-time job. 
So I'm actually going to take the job at the coffee shop, and then when Ryota comes in looking for the job as well, I'll give it to him and see where that gets me. But of course, I can just skip through all this. Let's see here. All oh, right, it's not the first first uh, appointment. Here we go. Okay. So skipping ahead. Yeah, Ryota shows up. Give the job to Ryota. Uh, Mr. Urashihara, do you think you could take Ryota instead of me? Uh, Zephyr? I don't see why not, but... I don't really need the job. Uh, I don't really need the A job. But Ryota does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. Are, are you sure, Zephyr? It's not really fair to you. I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day, too, but... Ryota works several jobs every summer to support his mother. Mr. Urashihara is a real gentle bird, and Ryota deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. I know you'll do a good job, Ryota. I... Thanks, Zephyr. Well then, our encounter has been as transient as a comet's tail on the horizon. But I am glad I met you. Please do stop by. I will always be here, Miss Zephyr. I will. Thank you, Mr. Urshahara. Alright. Well, I guess that really just scored me some brownie points for Ryota. I will also invite Ryota to the Summer Festival. Thanks for inviting me, Zephyr. Come on, let's go. So many booths. How are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter-gatherer instinct, Zephyr. Let's go find something to eat. I'll pay. What? No fair. I'm paying for yours. It's a deal. Uh, yakitori sounds good right about now. Huh? What is yakitori? And so I spent a happy evening with Ryota. Maybe we can go again next year. I love me some yakitori. Oh, here we go. Something new for Ryota. Uh, time to go home and engage in... Uh, I, I forget the last two words, but they were big. Uh, hey, Zephyr? Ryota, what's up? We want to walk home together? Though, if you were going somewhere else... I... Would love to. Uh, the sun's going down already. I guess it's fall now. The most elegant of seasons. Hey, look, a swallow. The most elegant of birds. Oh, there's its nest. Uh, what? Um. Okay, I guess we're just randomly peeping on this bird. They're supposed to be done rearing chicks by the start of summer. I guess all birds are changing now. I guess so. The chicks really are small. That reminds me of something from a long time ago. <laughs> me too. Thank you, Zephyr. Right, we were childhood friends. When I was young, I found Ryota freezing on the ground after falling out of his mother's nest. Doves breed all year round. No wonder they're everywhere. That was how we met, right? When I found you flopping around in the dirt and carried you back up to your nest? Uh, that's mean! Thinking about it, if I hadn't walked by then, you'd be dead. Though, you're still not exactly the healthiest bird around. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Zephyr. If you haven't found me then, I wouldn't be here now. I remember, if it, I remember it as if it were yesterday. Ever since, I've, I've always loved your kindness and monkey tree climbing genes. And <laughs> you're just... Okay, that, that sentence kind of hit me then. And you're just the same as you were then. Never change, okay? <laughs> Aw, cute. Have today off. Where to go? Where to go? What's to see? 
<laughs> Zephyr, wait! Uh, what's up, Ryota? Are you free right now? We've got way more customers than we expected, and we could really use another waitress. Uh, you're right. Where are they all coming from? Leave it to me, Ryota. I'll give them a taste of my super-made technique. And so I never ended up looking around the festival. Only maids now. Oh. Is this the... Oh. Is this new? Who's that cute girl handing out flyers? Is it a zombie? Oh! <laughs> no, it's Ryota, of course! What are you doing, Ryota? The festival's over! Or is that... Is that what you always wear? <laughs> no, no, this is my job! <laughs> what kind of job is that? Uh, you're misunderstanding. It's just a cafe! Well... Yeah, you know, um, I, I, I do wonder about that. This game came out a long time ago, right? Like, it's a pretty old game. I, I have no idea personally, but I think... Please forgive me if I'm wrong in saying this. I really genuinely do not know. Is... Has, like, fallen out of favor? Um... Every, everywhere I see on the internet where discussions of trans people go, um, it's always just trans. Trans, but surely that's like short for maybe it's transition? I, I, what I'm trying to say is I don't know if trans is offensive or not. If it is, I am sincerely sorry. I am ignorant completely. Um, let's... Uh, Zephyr says trans rights. I support trans rights. I'll, I'll say that. Okay? The, the, I, moving on. I'm not misunderstanding it at all. We need the money. Here, you take a flyer too. Um. <laughs> I'll ask for you when I go there. I'll make sure to ask for you. Thank you. I'll be waiting, Zephyr. Oh, and... My name at work is Kuleen, so address me with that. Kuleen? Okay. See you later, Kuleen. I'll tip you big, little lady. I still can't figure out if the birds are, like, actual real-life bird size compared to me, a human. Um... Ryota, want to walk home together? Um, sorry. I need to go somewhere right now. Maybe later? Okay. Is something wrong, Ryota? It's nothing. Don't worry about it, Zephyr. His smile is incredibly unconvincing. But if he doesn't want me worrying about it, worrying about it won't do any birdie any good. Maybe I'll go to the arcade. Ah, that was fun. I haven't played in a while. I should practice some new songs to get back into the game. Huh? What's Ryota doing over there? And why is he coming out of... The hospital? <gasps> uh, Ryota, were you... Zephyr. Uh, Zephyr, I want to talk to you. Is now a good time? Any time, baby. Of course. What is it? Um, well, sorry, I'm not sure how to say this. Take your time, I'm not going anywhere. Thanks. My mother isn't doing well. She was never very healthy. She did always, oh, she did always used to catch colds during the winter. <laughs> yeah, uh... Even though doves are supposed to fare better in the cold than in heat, she's been getting worse since the end of September. After a certain point, I couldn't take care of her on my own. So she's in the hospital now. And that's where you've been going after school. I hope she gets better soon, Ryota. She won't. Uh, she won't? He 
He's crying. Uh, sorry for holding you up, Zephyr. Z see you. Ryota! And so he fled into the night. Ryota! I want to hug him. He needs a hug. Please let me hug Ryota. Somebody sent me a text message. It's from Ryota. Shouldn't that be some birdie? Meet me in the park at 7. What's going on? I hope it isn't something bad. Ryota, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Nope. Uh, sorry for dragging you out like this, Zephyr. Uh, what is it? Is your mother okay? Yeah, she's fine now. Thanks. Uh, I kind of doubt that. She said, You're old enough already. Go spend the day with someone important. And wouldn't let me back into her room. Going home is too lonely, so I thought maybe if I talked to you, I'd feel a little better. So you called me? Do you feel better? Yep. Thank you. Oh, uh, sorry. Sitting out here on Christmas Eve is kind of sad. Want to go somewhere? I don't mind, Ryota. Anywhere's fine with you. Aww. And so Ryota and I spent the evening sitting together in the park. It wasn't very Christmassy, but I didn't mind. Nice. Okay, so this is many times in a row now where it has suddenly decided to rain on New Year's. This is the day Ryota is supposed to be at the shrine. I don't know what's going on. This feels like a permanent change to the game. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdy. Uh, Ryota, wait. Huh? Uh, do you have a minute? Sure, what's up? Here, calm corn for the human teens. Whoa, thanks, Zephyr. Are you sure? I love these, they're really good. It said they were easy on birds' stomachs, so I thought you might. I know sometimes it's tough, but I like being around you and helping you, uh, helping you, Ryota. Thank you, Zephyr. That makes me really happy. You like Udon, right? Let me take you out sometime. Okay. He seems happy. Yay! Tests are over, and there's nothing else to do but wait for spring break. This semester really was over before I knew it. That aside, it's cold. I need to do something about the temperature in my house before I get sick. Huh? Someone sent me a text message. In the park, come quick. Uh-oh. Ryota? Ryota is huddled on the bench where we usually meet. Ryota, what's... He's crying? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's still cold out, Ryota. You'll catch cold without a coat on. Right. Hey, Zephyr, my mother died today. I can't find words. I had a feeling this conversation would come, but I don't know what to say. She was a dove, but she... She always got sick when, when it was cold. That's not right, that... That isn't supposed to happen. Ryota. I'm alone now, Zephyr. You still have me, don't you? She said the same thing at the end. Rely on Zephyr and let her rely on you. But I think that would be irresponsible of me. I love you, Zephyr. 
more than anyone else now. <gasps> I, I love you too, Ryota. But, uh, how can I say this? My mother was weak, but it's not as if she had a short life for a dove. So, what are you trying to say, Ryota? If, if you were to marry me, I'd die much sooner than you. <gasps> we're different species. We have different lifespans, too. That's nature. But knowing that from the start, knowing that I would end up leaving you alone, it, it just seems too irresponsible. That doesn't matter. It doesn't mean we can't be together. I love you, Ryota. I want to be with you until the end. I know what it feels like to be left alone now. I don't want to make you feel this pain, Zephyr. I think we should go our separate ways. No, we won't. That's what life is, Ryota. It's unfair and painful and sometimes it doesn't, it seems nothing good will ever happen. But fighting on, allowing, uh, following our urge to seek happiness anyway, that's what makes us alive. That's how our ancestors lived and died and evolved and brought us to where we are now. But we... Birds weren't meant to come this far. We've advanced more than we were ever meant to. That doesn't matter. Ryota, I love you. I want to be with you as long as I can, even if it's just for a little while. I think you want to be with me too. Where's the problem? Zephyr. I'm not as healthy or strong as you are. I'm not smart or handsome or rich. But I'm happy. Thank you. You don't have to think about it so much, Ryota. We can worry about the future when it comes, right? Right. I don't think I'll have calmed down for a while yet, but... I'm glad I was born. If only because I got to be with you. It's like a miracle. Thank you. We have to part with everyone eventually. If it comes a little early, then... That's life. I don't care for how long it is. I'm happy enough just being with Ryota. But live as long as you can, Ryota. Live as long as you can so that you can carry wonderful memories with you when you return to the sky. Well, that was heartfelt. You know, I think that was honestly exactly what I expected from the Ryota route. No surprises here, I don't think. Ending number one, while it lasts. Nice. Well, what now? Okay, so... Let's take a look at the, uh... Gallery, I want to say? Okay, so... Uh, gosh, there's no clues to what we're missing, right? Okay, I have to assume all these, these eight down here, these are related to what comes after finishing all the routes. Um, I just don't know for sure. Um, what is the archive? I forget what the archive is. Oh, uh... I think I should look at this later once it's all filled out. I don't really know what this is. Um, well, I think the best thing that jumps out of my mind is um, Yuya. That is really the last person we have yet to follow, and I think everything after that will just be modifications of other routes, but I'm not really sure what to do just yet. So, yeah, Yuya is obvious. Let's do Yuya. Right, first real choice, infirmary staff. 
Well, make sure to side with Yuya instead of Shu. Uh, I definitely think Yuya would value charisma, just like his brother. So let's do that. Salutations, Zephyr. Yuya? What's wrong? Are you hurt? So sweet of you to worry for me. But no, I'm the second in command here. You are? I never would have guessed. I couldn't be happier, mon ami. Mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiacs. Anyway, our job as staff is to check the medicines and clean up in here. And normally I do that. But today I've got some stuff I need to take care of, so could you handle this mess for me? Of course. My thanks, Zephyr. Oh, and don't touch the desk, it's the doctor's personal area. Oh. Take you somewhere nice in return. Adieu. Yuya flutters out the door. Did he just ask me out? Anyway, cleaning. Right. Uh, it's just a matter of not touching the desk. Yeah. Needing the desk summons Shu. Leave it alone. What is this? I'm a little curious, but he did say not to go near the desk. Better to leave it alone. The doctor might show up and turn me into Zephyr Salami. Oh, guess that's that. The sports festival. Right. We want the first aid tent. Salutations. Did you come to gaze into my eyes, Monami? Uh, I heard the first aid team was short-handed. Salutations. Alas, spurned for the sake of medicine. I must work harder to prove my love. Anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we have plenty of work to do. Uh, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why use a game designed for humans? Beyond me, Monami. I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Never there. He's resting in the shade of a tree, some distance away. Looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birds on the racetrack. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Is he taking notes or something? On something. A lot of the birds graduating from the school get scouted by pro sports teams, so maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. Uh-oh, they've started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, mon ami. Yes, sir. And so I spent the sports festival patching up damaged doves with Yuya. I learned some first aid from him, so it was time well spent, I think. Right, and Yuya is at the store. Let's go there. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. Though, these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, Monami. Planning to settle down already? Yuya! Uh, no, that's not it. I'm still a high school student. Uh, that may be so, but... You know we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. They do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. My lo- Yuya, that's- We're not- I'm not good enough? Oh well, I'll have to try again later. Is that how he talks to every girl he meets? Right. So, I remember from like one of the first videos of this playthrough, I said, I think that's a little rude. And that caught Yuya's attention, and he liked that I didn't just let him walk all over me. So I think I'll go with this. I think that's a little you rude, Yuya. What is? That sort of loose talk. Like a game or something. 
You know, that's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. I'm surprised. Thank you, Monami. I'll carry this warning in my pigeon heart forever. Adieu. Oh, I think this is new. A salutation, Sukuya. The wet looks good. Uh, the wet look suits you well. Do you mock me? Hardly. I'm praising you. I'm proud to have such a handsome little brother. Your very act of speaking to me is an insult, mongrel. You probably can't even swim. <laughs> I wonder. Want to decide who's faster once and for all, little brother? Fool! We already know who the victor will be. But to ignore a challenge would be, to sus be a disgrace to my name. Very well. Monami? Yes? Will you be our judge? I shall judge your noble combat with all possible fairness. Of course. Uh, just out of curiosity, who do you think will win? Probably... Yuya. I think you'll win, Yuya. You're ripped, and Sakuya's all fluff. What? <laughs> I like to think he dropped character for that. Oh, thank you, Manami. I'll swim my fastest for you. Get set, go! They dive with perfect synchronization. Yikes, they're both fast, even though their skeletal structure isn't designed for it at all. It was awfully close, but in the end... <sighs> so, who won, Monami? It was almost too close to tell, but... Yuya was a little faster. <clears throat> Well, there you have it, little brother. I can hear Sakia grinding his beak in frustration. This, this is some sort of mistake. I demand a rematch. Sure, I'm always happy to take you on. Yuya looks pleased. Maybe he's happy because he got to talk to Sakia? I don't know how to pronounce Sakuya or Sakia. I don't know. Right, this is just Ryota warning me about Shu. Da -da -da, nothing to see here that's new. Right, right. This is Shu accusing Sakia of... Uh, not Sakia, Yuya of fiddling with his desk. And now I get to cover for Yuya. Right, let's skip to the choice. Right. Yes, I was with Yuya just earlier. There's no way he could have done the thing you're accusing him of. I don't quite know what's going on, but I don't like the look on the doctor's face. Uh, that's right. Yuya, Yuya and I were having a sexy, luxurious sun bath in the courtyard up until a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy and luxurious it was indeed. Well, Doctor? Very well. I shall have to wait for more solid evidence. Please, do be careful. Of course, Doctor. Yuya, what? Uh, forgive me, Monami. I can't explain right now. But one day. And he's gone. What was that supposed to mean? Is something really happening in this infirmary? Ah, the festival. Time to invite Yuya. A salutation, Zephyr. I'm honored to act as your escort tonight, my love. Oh, Yuya. Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Don't worry about it. A gentleman never keeps a lady waiting, so I always show up half an hour early. That's pretty early. Shall we go, mon ami? Yes. A successful festival indeed. Take my hand, Zephyr, lest the crowd separate us. 
Huh? Don't tell me you're a hand-holding virgin. <laughs> I was about to laugh, but then I think I realized that I think I am too. Oh no. Um. Better late than never. You were the one who invited me, okay? Um, okay. His feathers are soft. Well, that's boring. This was fun, Zephyr. Where do you live? I'll walk you home. Uh, Yuya. Uh, what is it? Do you want to play some more? The night is yet young, and if dangerous games are your desire, I will accompany you. Th that's not what I meant. I wanted to ask you something. Of course. Just, my height and weight are classified information, so I can't tell you those. Dana, I want to know his height. Why did you lie to Dr. Iramine? Oh. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. Yeah, yeah. I came straight from cleaning my classroom. Whoa. Theme of Yuya? This is intense. I came straight from cleaning my classroom. I hadn't seen you before I went into the infirmary. But you told the doctor that we'd been together. Why? Uh, that was a month ago now. I was hoping my obligation to explain had lapsed. You knew I was lying then, so why did you play along? Because the doctor looked mad? I felt like if I didn't help you, he was going to do something to you. Hey, I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Monami. Your hunter-gatherer instincts are too much for me. But yes, if you hadn't helped me back then, I'd probably be in little plastic bags in the freezer by now. That's not funny. Indeed, it isn't funny at all. And it's not a joke. <laughs> Please, give me a straight answer, Yuya. That was a straight answer. I'm always straight in love. Almost always. No, I meant... Uh, uh, Zephyr, could you do me a favor? What now? You're just trying to avoid the question again. Shh, listen. I'll only say this once. Huh? What's going on? His usual detached air is gone. He's looking around almost nervously. I'm sorry, Monami. It looks like we had better split up. Can you get home all right by yourself? Uh, of course I... Good girl. We'll part ways as soon as we reach that intersection. I'll head into an alleyway, so go straight home. Don't look back. The night roads are laden with traps. Be careful. And you, mon ami. What? He turns briskly and disappears into a narrow alley. What on earth is going on? He told me not to look back, but... A gunshot? Later that night, he sent me an email? Did you make it home in one piece? I'll be visiting in your dreams, mon ami, so sleep well. The message bears no trace of the tension I felt in my earlier. Are you alright, Yuya? He really is a mysterious bird. I think I'll assume that his existence is one of the seven mysteries of St. Pigeonations. Uh... What? Oh, Yuya! Wait, isn't that Yuya? He's rummaging around in a garbage can. Yuya, what are you doing? Have you fallen so far, mongrel? Uh, good evening, Monami. You sound rather like a certain someone. <laughs> I, I can't believe you need to fish around in trash cans for food, Yuya. Uh, please, don't misunderstand, Monami. I was looking for something. Is this another brand new song? 
You know Yuya's rich when he can afford two unique songs all to himself. Sadly, no clues were to be found in this barrel. Clues? What is he talking about? Let's keep this a secret from Sakia, shall we? I would hate for him to have new names for me when school starts up again. Mr. Garbage Disposal! Something like that. I would like to escort you home, Anami, but unfortunately I am somewhat busy at the moment. Will you be alright on your own? A hunter-gatherer can always find her way home. Indeed. Adieu, Monami. The smell of garbage surrounding him fades as he strides off into the night, but the mystery mysteries don't. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I really don't. Ah, oh, here we go. Didn't Yuya say his class was doing a butler cafe in the courtyard? Huh. As a member of the maid team, I can't ignore this threat. I should... Go spy on them! Whoa, new background! Neat! Ah, no fair! They have all this and we're stuck in a classroom? I think we've already lost in terms of location. Dapper Yuya. Monami? Yuya! How kind of you to come see me... Wait, no. Welcome back, my lady. Please, come this way. Oh, he does look good. I think I'm blushing. Y you're not fooling anyone, Yuya. You say that to every birdie, right? It is my duty for today. Uh, please forgive me, my lady. Jeez. What's your class doing, Monami? A maid cafe. Well, well. I suppose that makes us rivals. You've certainly done a good job of infiltrating our base, I must say. Maids versus butlers. Battle of the school ground. I think it's a bit much. You're not on duty today? Or are you taking a break? I'm on duty tomorrow. I see. In that case, I shall come witness your maidery. I will, of course, ask for you. I await your return, master. What? <laughs> oh, I got too caught up in it. I think this is still new. Huh. What? Another new character? Uh, <laughs> I, w I was about to say that was Kabu, but no. Kabu didn't have the red cheeks. Oh my goodness. Yuya's talking with the janitor, Mr. One. Or One? I think it's One, yeah. I hadn't expected Mr. One, the quiet, foppish bird with the cult following to get... <laughs> What? With the cult following to get along with them, infamous st stud muffin Sakazaki Yuya. Uh, okay, I have no idea what to voice for this guy, so just default. But I don't think we'll find any evidence. Right, I'll check the others. Yuya! Saluta uh, salutations, Monami. I was waiting for you. Here, I'll take the heavy stuff. You take the broom. Uh, that is that, then. Mr. One retreats into his lair with an unsociable expression. Mr. One seems like kind of a loner. I wonder if it's part of the job description. He's a nice fellow, once you get to know him. I think his taciturn nature does him great injustice, personally. You're friends with him? I do have a lot of opportunities to talk to him, yes. Why do I feel like Yuya is some spy? Like, there was a theme of spies with, with the maid and butlers, but what if Yuya actually is a secret agent? <laughs> and he was making a report to someone from the agency. It was only to be expected. 
He starts carrying the supplies down the hall, ending the conversation. Somehow I feel like he doesn't want to talk about it. Huh. Alright, Majors. Um, wonder if Yuya's has already decided on his. Maybe I'll go ask him for advice. Sakazaki? Uh, hey, did Sakazaki come in this morning? Yeah, he was here this morning. Don't know where he went. D doesn't he attend class? He's never been particularly serious, no. He isn't even here half the time. I don't think he's planning to go on to, on to university, is he? I never realized. Huh. If he is still here, he's probably at the infirmary or the shop. I'll go to the shop first. I don't have the infirmary duty today, but my hunter-gatherer instincts are telling me he's there. Right. Yuya! Oh, hello, Monami. You startled me. That was easier than expected. He's acting kind of weird, though. He isn't shoplifting, is he? Are you busy right now? I wanted to talk to you. Uh, sure. Here. Ha! Huh. He takes my hand and runs from the store. What are you doing? Why'd you drag me into this empty hallway? Is this the third new song? I am losing my shit. Wait, no, is this a second? No, I don't know. Are you excited? N no Oh well. Why'd you come to talk to me, Monami? Were you drawn to my sexy aura? No, I just wanted to talk to you about career plans and stuff. You've always been a diligent girl, Zephyr. You know hanging around me is dangerous, though. You won't get off with just a scratch. What do you mean? Well, you might get... Shot, knifed, dismembered, drowned, buried alive, that sort of thing. I knew it. I don't know what you're talking about, Yuya. Uh, don't think it's so hard. I mean exactly what I said. I'm going to disappear from this school soon, Monami. I know it isn't easy, but you should forget about me. That'll be for the best. His tone of voice is as carefree as ever, but his eyes are dead serious. I don't think he's joking. Kind of hard to swallow, isn't it? How about this? I'll tell you something neat as a parting gift. You know the rumors that missing students end up as meat in the cafeteria and quill pens in the shop? Uh, well... Why do you think I'm so forward, Monami? And why do you think I work in the infirmary? Live an honest, happy life. Edge you. Y Yuya, wait! I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I guess I'll skip ahead until something interesting happens. Yuya at the shrine? Okay, I am really glad I did not hit that skip button. Happy new salutations, Monami. It is you. Happy new sal salutations to you too. Ah, to meet you on the first day of the new year. A good omen indeed. Did you come alone? Not exactly, no. I was looking for someone, but I seem to have lost sight of them. You're just as suspicious as always, Yuya. But I found you instead, so I can't say this was a wild goose chase, Monami. I shall go thank the gods of this shrine for this fated encounter. Edu. And so he sauntered off with a dashing wave. I guess he was in a hurry. I have no idea what kind of beans or uh, what kind of beans that Yuya might like. Um, maybe swollen hemp? I don't know. Ah, 
I want to go give Yuya beans, but I don't even know if he's at school today. I guess I'll have to call him. Salutations, Monami. He answered. Hello, how are you, Yuya? Where are you right now? I'm fine, but alas, I cannot say where I am. The best men always have a mystery or two thousand, after all. Do you need me for something? Um, could we meet up for a bit? Please, I'll only ask this once. A once-in-a-lifetime request, in other words? Really? A once-in-a-lifetime, plus plenty more times in the same lifetime request. <laughs> well, that sounds important. I can't exactly say no, now can I? Shall we meet at the usual place in the park tonight? Say, at 8? Okay. Sounds good to me. Yuya, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Time spent waiting for a lady is magical, irreplaceable time. Pay it no mind, Monami. Unfortunately, I do not have much time left today. Forgive my lack of romance, but may I ask what you wanted to meet with me for? Oh, yes. It's legumentine, so I wanted to give you this. You wanted to give me beans, Monami. Yes. Ah, oh, how wonderful. I am glad I risked my life to come here. Here, Yuya. We're just going to let that slide, okay? Okay. Thank you, Monami. How very kind of you indeed. I shall enjoy these. And now, the night wears on, Monami. Don't stay out too late. Adieu. He gives me a little shove, either out of impudence or to push me from the path of some unseen danger. <laughs> That wasn't very romantic, but at least he's doing well, I think. Real man of mystery. The semester is almost over. In a short, in a few short weeks, I will no longer be a sophomore. I haven't seen Yuya since New Year's. Apparently, he hasn't come to school all semester. There are rumors that he dropped out, but could that really be true? I feel like a hole has opened up in my heart... I think I'll go drown my sorrows in arcade games. Okay. Wait. Isn't that... Yuya? I half expected him to be in a maid costume. Okay. <clears throat> Monami? You... You look like you're doing pretty well. I, uh, have some stuff to do. Uh, do you? Uh, hey, hey, hey! Wait! Uh, uh, Zephyr, could you not grab me so tightly? Yuya, is your wing bro- Look out! A gunshot? Opening fire on a lady? Such insufferable cards they are. Is this a fourth new song? Okay. This way, Monami. Run! Yuya, what's going on? Please explain yourself. What are you? Why are people trying to kill you? Are you a wanted man? I suppose I can't really say you're not involved anymore, can I? It's time I explained. Do you know of the Hawk Party and the Dove Party, Monami? Wasn't the Hawk Party the Grim Reaper that killed me? Because I failed to love any birdie? The political factions? Right. They were names used in human politics, but now they carry a different meaning. The Dove Party believes we should live peacefully with the remaining humans, while the Hawk Party believes we should exterminate them to make room for birds. St. Pigeon Nations is actually a secret experimental institute created by the Hawks. Oh! Okay. Uh... What? Of course, it's not like the entire faculty is working for them. There's only one Hawk agent actually working at the school. By contrast, I was dispatched by the Doves to infiltrate the school and investigate the experiments. 
As you said, I'm a wanted man. <laughs> I'm proud to live up to that title. I am an expert at clandestine information retrieval, and information is valuable. I imagine you're, you've already realized why I was acting as a helper in the infirmary. Because the Hawk agent is... Dr. Iwamine. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Correct. Iwamine is no doubt an assumed name. He's a researcher for the Hawk Party and has been developing anti-human biological weapons using data collected during physical examinations. Remember when we bumped into each other at the school shop? Yes, I think we... I was investigating where the products sold there come from. I found that DNA samplings from the pens there match samples taken from missing students. Same goes for much of the poultry in the cafeteria. Th that's horrible. But... Oh, wait, no, that's not you. Yeah, sorry. But if the doctor was out to exterminate humans... Why did he never do anything to me? Huh. This is just my interpretation, but I don't think he holds any political ideals. I think he trusts only in his own knowledge, and his own power to expand that knowledge. Something like a mad scientist, maybe? Exactly. I suppose it never occurred to him to target you, since you were working for him. I think he was more interested in observing your interactions with the other students. I wanted to reveal the Hawk's involvement in the school, but in the end it proved to, it proved to too much for me alone. And now, well, I can no longer live in the open. I plan to leave this city tonight. But I can't leave just yet. I don't know if I can just leave you here, Zephyr. You, yeah. You may already have been marked as one of my associates, associates, and if that is the case, then leaving you alone would be dangerous. I'm sorry I got you involved in all this, Monami. Hardly. I was the one who approached you. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> You're such a nice girl. Thank you. Huh. I'll let you decide. Do you want to come with me into the world of darkness, or... Would you rather live a normal life? Of course, if you want to stay, I'll assign agents to protect you. I want to go with you, ya. Yeah. I want to go with you. Are you sure? You may be putting your life at risk. Don't make me say it twice. Uh, somehow, I was hoping you'd say that. I haven't been this happy in a long time. There's nothing more keeping us here, then. Let us go, Monami. And so I followed Yuya into the world of darkness. Sometime in the future, a pair of spies in their endless battle for justice behind the frail curtain of society will pass into legend. But that's another story. Somehow, nearly every question I had got answered. Lovely. Um. Yuya only lived twice. <laughs> right, right, okay. Well. With that, I do believe we have finished every... Character... At least once. All that remains is doing new choices in specific character routes. So off the top of my head, there's um, not going with Yuya. There is... Um, something to do with um, Kazuaki and... Shoe, but I really don't know how to get it just right so you do the in between. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I might be at the point where I actually want to look up a guide 
Let's see, look at the gallery here. So, three... And a fourth. I think we're only missing four endings. And I know for a fact that, uh... Saku no, Yuya is one of these. Wait, actually... There's something in between Ryota and Sakuya here. Yeah, this is, a. Uh... Wait, was this Sakuya? I forget, man. Um... Something in between the... The Azami and Blaster... Or Azami and Kabu ending and the map for the cafe could there be an alternate ending involving Azami and Kabu but I chose the other option I chose the one other option available in an earlier video and I didn't get anything new um I don't know yeah I think I might want to look up a guide to see what I'm ending exactly. So, um. Well, at any rate, uh. Finishing up all this preliminary stuff is. It feels really close. It feels tangible. We're pretty close to the real meat of the game, I suppose. Um. This business with the Hawk and Dove party. I feel like the rest of the game will be about that. Very interesting stuff. Um, well, I guess there's really nothing more to say. I'm enjoying this still, and I'm glad I returned to Haddleful Boyfriend. I almost didn't, but I did, and I'm glad. So, I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been Haddleful Boyfriend. I thank you for watching, and hopefully I will catch you next time. So until then, please take care.